Hey my people, how are you doing? I hope you're having a damn good day. Welcome back to part two of the Blackburn Rovers career mode. We are currently in January. That means the transfer window is open. That means there are opportunities to potentially bring in some new players. We've got some tough games coming up on the schedule. And can we get promoted? Well, we'll have to find out in this episode, of course. If you do enjoy it, hit the like button down below. And maybe share the video if you would like to. And maybe subscribe if you haven't already. So now that we're in January, I decided it was time to move in for one of our main targets for the summer, and that was Jaffa Tanganga. Tried to get him in a bit earlier, but unfortunately we could not as we lowballed Spurs. We pulled a Spurs on Spurs, and they did not like that, so they kind of walked out of the meeting. Conte was not having it, so we were forced to move into our Huddersfield game, of course, our first game of the year. A bit undercooked, a bit underprepared, as I did expect to have the likes of Jaffa Tanganga running up and down the right-hand side. But that man right there, Somerville, was running up and down the right-hand side, firing in the goal to start the game off. Five minutes in, great, well, great stuff all ends up. And then Dolan fires home the second to make it 2-0. And um, to be fair, this game should have been dead and buried long ago. Diaz had a perfect chance to see that from the spot, could not do it, unfortunately. And that allowed them to get back into the game and tied up at 2-2 before the heroics, the late game heroics of Frederick White coming on as a substitute, absolutely doing his job, his role, filling it in perfectly and getting us the three points. We would then move on to the FA Cup where we would lose 2-1 to Wigan, unfortunately. We took our frustrations out though on Cardiff City the very next game, beating them 3-1. And now it is possibly game of the season, a 1v2 scenario, Middlesbrough versus Blackburn Rovers. Three points separate us from them as they are currently in number one. So it is going to be a very tough game, of course. They did beat us the last time we faced off against them, which was a bit of a heartbreak as they won it late on in the game. But in this game, it was going to be a different scenario. The boys were more amps, they were more up for it. They had what it takes in this game. Some modics, our surprise of the season, some might say. Scoring goals, getting assists left, right and centre. He had scored two goals before this one. And this one was a dirty, dirty finish. Reminded me of, of Pram Mitroza when he nails the ball into the ground and it bounces up and over the goalkeeper because that finish was absolutely filthy. Goalkeeper stood no chance. And the boys were more motivated this time. They were not having it all ends up. And then, of course, we were winning 4-1. And I just had to put this piece of commentary in. Because, my word, how dumb was I to run into the literally two Middlesbrough players for them to score the final goal. But we would end up winning 4-2 on the day with Samodix getting the hat-trick ball. Or the ball for the hat-trick, I should say. <laughs> I was really, really happy with the way the boys played. But we move on to Luton. Luton Town, of course, very difficult game the first time out. They they ended up beating us 2-1. And it looked like the story was about to be ripped in the game. Later on in the game, they, they scored their opening goal after a very boring first half. But the boys, they had more fight in them this time. And after just coming on, Gallagher smashing it home from the corner. Virtually his first touch of the game. And then very late on, yet again, he nets the winner, Frederick White, absolutely sensational finish. Great pass to get the ball to him in that open bit of space in the box. Nailing it, flat bang, bottom corner. Goalkeeper stood no chance whatsoever. I wanted to make a move for Jaffa Tanganga, but it wasn't going to happen. And I decided the squad that we have is good enough to fight on for the second half of the, of the championship season. So we weren't going to make any signings. We would then go on to face Swansea City, where we would win 2-0. We have a big game against Burnley, of course. We did draw with them 3-3 with Ashley Barnes netting a brace against us in the first half of the season. That was not going to happen in this one. We are keeping our receipts from that first half of the season. And here is one that's going to be paid back tenfold against Burnley. Vincent Company's men, they are going to provide a very tough draw against us. But I have faith in the boys. And people... Please, please, please vote on goal of the season because that one right there could potentially take it off of the hands of Somerville who netted that absolute sensational screamer against Reading in the first half of the season. But can I just say, Bradley Dak as well as Brereton Diaz were phenomenal. They combined superbly in this game, absolutely putting Bernie to the, the sword, really. They, they took them completely out of the game. Their combination play was sensational. Brereton Diaz has really impressed me this season as he has gone from strength to strength and just improved to the way that I want us to play. 
And now that he has done that, he is looking absolutely outstanding for the team. Outstanding, nonetheless. From start to finish, we were the better team that went, obviously winning 5-0 on the day. Double from Bradley Dak, a double from Diaz, and of course a wonder goal from Frederick Weitz. We went on to play Bristol, where we would win 4-2 and absolutely dominate the game. And then we went on to face Derby, who were in 19th place, and we beat them 2-1. We faced off against Reading, where we would win 2-1, and then we took our talents to Blackpool, where we would unfortunately lose 2-1. Tough, tough result there. We then went on to face Peterborough, where we got back to winning ways with a 2-1 victory. So I decided to have a bit of an unorthodox approach to life here, where I put Harrison Reed back into the starting lineup and dropped Lewis Travis further down the field and he's going to be a ball playing to back that just matches the way that I want the team to play, the manner in which I want the team to play and I think it's going to help the team out a great deal in the future. As you can see there, Lewis Travis and Harrison Reed in different positions, Reed actually in the starting lineup and Lewis Travis as a centre back and Damia Dolan, absolutely great finish, great team goal to, to face off against Stoke. Of course, I did mention we've got our receipts kept and Stoke gave us a very big 4-1 hiding in the, in the game that we played in at the ground. And now it was time to return the favor to him for Brady Dak, an absolute great finish. Top corner, had no chance to stop that Stoke goalkeeper. And we ended up winning 2-1 on the day. Fantastic result for us moving forward. Our march at the table continues. We then went on to face the biggest team of them all, Preston North End, of course, my bogey team, a team that I cannot stand. And to be fair, this game literally epitomized why they are my bloody team. We get off to a very boring start, and then we eventually score a goal in the second half. And then Preston turned on the literally their difficulty that goes past ultimates as they were pinning the ball around the midfield like it was prime Barcelona. I couldn't, I can't, I just can't get my head around how good Preston can be against me. And um, we eventually bring down their man who was in on goal. Pickering gets sent off, of course, because he was literally the last man. And um, yeah, we, we give away a, a stupid corner that could have easily been avoided. And then we give away a last second goal. Literally, Archer just came on the field and he damn well scored that goal to give us a draw with Preston North End. Damn it. Moving on to Norwich, a team that knows what it takes to get out of the championship. And it was going down to the final day of the season, winning the championship. That was what I wanted. I already knew that we were going to get promoted at this point. We already knew, but we wanted to the way from the season. It was an outstanding season. And Nolan put the team on his back in the first half with goals from him. Absolutely sensational from the man, putting the team on his back, like I said. And then Thornton coming up with his first goal of the season. And we would be cruising up 3-0 and eventually run out four more winners, sealing us the championship title. Promotion, yes. Championship title, yes. Final day of the season, we've got nothing to really play for. He's going to be against Birmingham, but right now, the boys, the fans, everybody, just absolutely having a time and a half. We're celebrating this trophy. It is the first of many under the Bomb Squad era. Getting out of the championship was the first step into getting Blackburn Rovers to where they need to be. And this is how we're going to do it. Fans going berserk, players going berserk. It is going to be kind of hard to motivate them for the final game of the season that would be against Birmingham. But I have a feeling that this team is going to be special in the future. It was thanks to everybody. Like everybody had their role to play and that's what made this win so, so special. This season has been truly amazing. People, don't forget to hit the like button down below just because we won the championship. Moving on though to Birmingham City, final day of the season, nothing to play for. And it kind of showed the players were very lax, very calm, very just not in the game to be fair. <laughs> and um, Scott Hogan confusing the communication between the goalkeeper and our defence. Firing it into an open net, I, I was shook. And to be fair, we had many, many chances, but it was either the post or Nile Etheridge that came up very, very big. And yeah, it, it was so frustrating, man, so frustrating. But eventually, we would unlock the defense with a great goal from Bradley Dak, who has come back into it this season after spending some time on the bench due to some modics heroics. But Bradley Dak rescuing us this game, rescuing us the draw. Final game of the championship ends in a draw, a bit disappointing, but it was a great season nonetheless. The boys are happy. We're getting promoted to the Premier League, baby. 
So people, that is going to bring us to an end of our first season as the Blackburn Rovers manager. It has been a successful season nonetheless. We have gotten promoted, we've won the championship. Oh, what a season it's been. Premier League next season is going to be absolutely insane. I might target one of the cups to potentially just make the season a bit more interesting. I'm thinking the FA Cup, to be fair. Uh, that, that's got, obviously got a lot more weight in history. And it could be something special to go for. Our first major, major trophy could be an FA Cup. Who knows? But these are some of our stats for the season. Samodix was undoubtedly one of our best players this season. Goals, assists, he did it all. Frederick White, of course, fantastic from him. Please, guys, if you can, in the comment section, vote for who you want your player of the season to be. I would probably say it's going to be Samodix, who was surprisingly really, really fantastic for us. And probably our young player of the year would go to Frederick White, who was probably our only young player this season. But regardless, we were absolutely great. I loved every moment of this season, and I hope you guys did as well. Just going through some of the tables, some of the stats and stuff. Somonix leading the championship in assists, so that's definitely going to skyrocket his value. He's going to be very, very big for us next season. Um, but yeah, I, I've, I can't believe that, that we are at the end of season one already. Just taking a look at the end of the Premier League season, Man City winning the league, Arsenal finishing in the eighth, um, <laughs> Brighton getting relegated, um, PSG winning the damn Champions League, Man United winning the Europa League, and Roma winning the Conference League. Something special. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your damn day. I'm out.